Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Yeah, you guessed it. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief. Shit making it. I'm fixing to build some Thunder Chiefs. I already got a set of wings laid up. <laughs> Don't I wish? <coughs> kind of choke me up. I am, I'm working on my wood. Making sure all my templates are just perfect. I got this one just perfect. Absolutely just perfect. Fits in there with just a little bit of slop. We got to allow for our glass. Remember that. Okay, now I got thinking, oh shoot, I need to make some gear door molds. You know where these gear doors are and my servo door covers? <laughs> I got to have some molds for them. Okay, and that's all I'm going to use these for is the gear doors. So I put some more wax on here. And, uh, Spray some part off. And I just really need to cover the gear doors and the servo pockets. And I just need to put one coat, my surface coat. I gotta be sure and go past the edge. It's actually, on my last one, I kind of messed up a little bit. I didn't cover where one of my servos went. Really all that's for is just so the servo doors will have panel lines on them and that match the wing. See what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go ahead and make one continuous piece. Then I'm going to lay, I'm just going to start out with my 10 ounce. And uh, I'll put a couple layers of tin. And then a couple layers of 40. Because this has got to be pretty rigid. Okay. I want to make this to where I can just drill a couple holes in it and hang it on the wall. And I always know where it's at. Just like one of the pieces over there. But it's got to be rigid enough to wear looking vacuum bagging. Yeah, that looks good. That's pretty good. As long as I've got the actual doors covered. Oh, someone asked me about my fuselage molds. No, I'm, I'm going to leave them fuselage alone to be. Yeah, they're great. They're good to go. Don't have to redo them. I don't really plan on redoing any more molds. Okay? Uh, my, I had to my wing molds because of this panel on situation. And the gear doors, you know, I just had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> the heck, it's only time, right? It's worth doing, it's worth waiting for. It's worth doing, it's worth doing right. That's that's the key right there. You know what I mean? I want to produce something I'm proud of hang my head up high as they're walking out the door. You know what I mean? Instead of making excuses. <laughs> excuses, that should be a topic someday. Excuses. Good ones, bad ones. Let's see. Yeah, I need to come down. See, I almost 
did it again. I want to come down forward enough. We're going to flap in right there. to mold my gear doors. You'll see, I'll get some of them laid up here pretty quick. It'll be easy. I'm going to start doing some duct work too. Start laying some ducts up. Them molds are good to go. I ain't got to do nothing to them but spray some part all on them. I'd say well, it's my elevator molds, but you know, on my elevator molds, before I get started, I only have one, but it's good. You know, it's fine right now. I'm going to come and put some flanges all the way around that. I'm going to put my, my plug back in it, bolt it all up, and put a ring around both sides, a flange, and uh, it'll be good to go. That little thing, it wouldn't take much to mold a new one, so, <laughs> you know, just a little, make me an extra one, just make maybe one more while I'm waiting for resin to dry or something. I'm just going to put one coat of surface coat on this. Start piling some glass on it. Some glass and some rads. I'm going to let this set. It ain't going to take long today, man. It's pretty warm out. set up for a little bit, let it get tacky, start piling some cloth on. Over here, this is pretty much what I'm doing. I'm going back and fitting all these pieces again, making absolutely sure before I go cutting them up on my router. See, that's another reason why I like this back out. I couldn't do this before. I just kind of had to sit it on there and and see if that was about good, but that's that's perfect right there. I left myself a little bit of room. You know that glass ain't very thick. It's only that little spot right there. All these pieces routed, they'll go right in here, and I won't have to do no work to them. You know what? The thing is pieces, so you see, I can go in this way. That's what I was talking about. I really get these pieces fitting good. I couldn't do that before. I pretty much had to. Uh, I put them together once and shook it to see if I had any gaps. These pieces, they was pretty close. That's about right where I want it and it's perfect. Okay? Now I'm just going around and getting all these pieces. But you notice how this mold goes together? Let's show you something for This is that no bolts in it. It's because of that flanging system. You can't even see no daylight nowhere. It's just sitting there. There is not one bolt in it. See that? That's what that flange does. Before it was whooped. Let me see you back.